Well, hello there. How you doing? I'm pretty hyped up because uh, it's Christmas time. We're close to it at least. So, and I, I, I love those holidays. Uh, you get to drink, get to, to eat like fabulous meals. Anyway, my thing. So what do we got here? We got a Gibson Les Paul, but there's a signature on it. Mm, it's a Tak Matsumoto. Tak Matsumoto, it's like, uh, he's like the Japan slash, Japanese slash. Uh, he's, he worked with Gibson multiple times. There's a lot of uh, signatures with him, also with Epiphone. There's a Epiphone uh, elitist, I think. Uh, and he's playing uh, in uh, Bees. So, it's a signature back to 2003. Uh, it's uh, it's been bought at Yamano, which is a well well known uh, store, guitar store, back in Japan. It's a Japan exclusive, so you can only find them uh, in Japan. If you want to have it back in Europe, you have to import it uh, through some brokers, but it does cost like a high percentage of the price. So. I, I'd say like uh, uh, one fourth of the price. You have to add up um, at least, maybe one third. Uh, this one has been bought uh, second hand, and uh, it's in in a good condition. Uh, it's not like perfect. It's been played. So, oh, damn. So yeah, first first thing you have. Tak Matsumoto, written right there. It's a quilted top. I never owned a quilted top uh, this far, so first time, and I really love the movement of the maple top. There's a uh, two zebra pickup, but I think the neck has been swapped. So it's a SH, uh, SH1 uh, from uh, Seymour Duncan. But I think uh, the original pickups are uh, Burst Bucker uh, 3 and it's supposed to be 2 on the neck. So we have the original one on the bridge, Burst Bucker, ah, Burst Bucker 3. <laughs> uh, and we get the neck SH1, as I said. Uh, you have original pots, uh, classic Les Paul stuff. And you have uh, Abalone inlays. It's not white like a uh, standard Les Paul or uh, Customs. It's uh, it's more like a blue. There's a lot of color. I can zoom in. You can see it right there. Mm. It does look very fancy. I really like it. Uh, it's a uh, 60 slim top uh, profile, neck profile. So it's very thin. Uh, it's very easy to play. I'm more of a 59 guy, so it's a bit too thin for me, but. It's my taste. Uh, you got your yeah, standard uh, Gibson Les Paul head. Uh, and it's, uh, yeah, one good thing. It's a uh, one piece uh, body. It's from uh, 2003, so it's from the Goodwood era from Gibson. So it's quite heavy. Like I say, uh, four kilos, maybe four, four, two, four, two, four, three, something around there. Um, but it's a very nice one-piece body, so I like it, I like it. Uh, what can I say, what can I add, scalar straps. Uh, and there's a, some uh, light aging already. Uh, it's a natural aging, so it, it has uh, 20 years now, close to 20 years. So there's checking on the, on the finish, but it does look nice. It does look a bit relic. There are some things uh, here and there, and uh, buckle, uh, buckle scratch uh, around there. You can see on the pictures on the on the listing I uh, I already did. Okay, so let's plug that baby. Okay, so we're going to play it for a bit. Uh, we're going to be plugged into a Marshall AFD 100. There's a right down uh, an AMS. It's my own signature um, from the guy from AMS. It's uh, two channels, uh, amp, British amp. You have a plexi type uh, on the first channel and the second channel is a JCM 800. So right now we are playing through the 800 uh, channel and it's in stereo with the AFD. Okay, enjoy.
Yeah, it's a bit noisy. So we're going just uh, to change the amp. I'm gonna play it through a quad cortex, uh, let's say uh, classic AC30, plug into a 412 Marshall. I know it's a bit strange, but I always play with uh, 412s. Uh, so you have a decent clean, because AFD 100 is not like a clean machine. So I'm gonna change that, and then uh, let's hear some clean tones, and then uh, I see you next time. Thank you guys.